Oh, I like it. Rocks. Oh. Doesn't get any, though. There's too many. All right. Well, they're just going to keep flooding forward, then into Kerrigan, oh. then into Brokey, and now there's nobody left on this bomb site, and the plant is not for twists. Nice tap on the retake, but he's trying to fight back into a bomb site that his team had under control at one point. Down to three seconds, forced to go outwards. Vitality is quadruple. Canal flank with Sphinx sat within it. Oh, Rain phases the smoke to the success of phase 5v4. They're gonna use that as the trigger to move in. Flashbang does blind him for a second, but look at that. Nothing but frags for phase. A completely overrun bomb site that puts up zero defense, essentially Vitality's pistol. How he paths towards Khan every round, you know? How his opponent is gonna play in Khan and go for that one peek every round how he's going to phase a smoke like he just did in that same situation. Regardless, it moves Magisk's M4, the only rifle of this one for Vitality, from inside of the A site, back towards mid, Desert Eagle with the double. Oh. Zaiwu, the composure right there. The first one was looking sloppy. Yeah, but even then he was shooting slowly. <laughs> and ready for the next peak, that visualization Zaiwu has is... It's on par with, you know what, a lot of people in the server, I'll just say that, but the execution, the consistency. Oh, oh he come just on. keeps on delivering. No way. Three, Three already. kills already for him. He's got the armor, 44 health. He's going to get this retake going. You know someone's here. Rain's on the pillar, sees players in the back. Saiwu Dupree are dead. Still three up. Rain, little bits of health. No kit on the play. Rain could still take this away from them. And Magisk jumps on top of it. I think it comes close, but I, I believe he's got it. It feels good. I think Rain... I think uh, Magisk runs from this. If he doesn't grab it, and even yeah. though it comes down to the last couple seconds, oh, it's Saiwu. a win for Vitality. Saiwu looking to leave a mark here round four. He's not thinking about this, is he? Oh, okay. Ooh, nice. Oh. Robs, double kill, double headshot. Apex and could try to take it back, and he will do so. With just a bit of damage done to him. This is... Two members of phase towards long B, the others up through dark. Timing's looking good, not hiding oh, their surprised. presence, not masking their sound, but also not clearing their corners. They've lost one. Sphinx peaks, double third! Everybody falls in front of Sphinx! He's gonna get pinned into the corner. Brokey versus Apex now, and Apex has opted to go the long way around. Sphinx nearly did everything. Man, some say nothing is more ancient than Sphinx. That was... That was a classic move by him. Apex able to walk around. Brokey tucked into the same spot that Spinks just used to shred phase. And Apex, will he think of this? Oh, no chance. Brokey comes out, closes it for phase. Hey guys, make sure to check out Keydrop and join their new event, Need for Skins. Open team cases during event points and unlock cool rewards with every new level. You can enter with free pass or buy a premium pass for a double reward. The higher the level, the better are the prices. You also receive event points if you make a deposit, which is really easy to make as Keydrop has many convenient deposit methods like crypto, bank transfers, skins and many other. However, don't forget to use my code VLADAPART to get another extra 10% deposit bonus and 50 cents for free. Here, as an example, I opened Toretto event case and managed to get this Deagle print stream. However, I really wanted new gloves, so I risked and upgraded Deagle to a pair of driver gloves Kingsnake with just 16% chance. Withdrawing skins is also super easy. Just go to your profile, find the skin you want to withdraw and click collect. And in less than a minute, you'll get the trade offer. So guys, make sure to check out Keydrop with the link in the description. Magisk a little concerned with middle. If Sphinx can be a bit faster and come help this site, that'd be one thing. But Magisk peeks out, gets toppled, and now poor Apex is going to have a ton of pressure. Nice one dig out of him. Drive-by shots, just trying to keep himself out of that corner. Doesn't want to get killed. Goes for next contact. Not able to snap it down to Rops. But Sphinx is here, and he finds timing on Brokey point blank. Rops, 1v2. Gets it back on Sphinx first. That's critical. That's the gun down. But Dupree has also picked up the weapon from mid. And Rops, oh, so ready. Man. We've got highlight real moments oh, okay. in the first five of this first map. May not pay off. Zaiwu about to get pinched. Three attackers. But the mid player is also not coming just yet. Twist's now starting to work down. Zaiwu gets a chance in sight first. But it's just on Rops, Apex, and Dupree versus Twist's and Brokey. I know who I'd take. 
with the bomb plant on Faze's side as well. Brokey's post up for the mid peak. Apex given a chance and Twists goes deep. It's going to be very difficult to unroot him from that position. He opts himself to play in heaven instead. Long player now comes around that corner, dies instantly, and so will Apex. So very comfortable post plant for Faze in the 2v2. That's. He said sometimes the communication's not great, but they always make magic happen, you know? And they've definitely got that chemistry. Well, it shouldn't take too much magic to get into this bomb site. Magisk and Apex, Desert Eagle's only to hold. Apex getting a little wild, sets up Magisk, but the Heaven player is able to wrap around. They didn't see that one coming, and Zywoo's right back to it. Mid-peak canceled. Rops, low health, <laughs> dropped by Zywoo, who comes through with three kills on the round. And just like that, Vitality, Rob one away. Come on. Sphinx can't back up. Nope. Took a step too far backwards. Now he's low. Puts Rain fully into kill mode. He knew exactly where he had to go and what was waiting for him. 30 on the clock. Dupree also empty-handed. This B site has been unraveled. Nobody's able to put up a fight. Not even Apex. Sure, the damage is there, but every member of Vitality goes down without a kill. You know, when you have a Deagle, sometimes you take an extra second to aim because you're going to hit the head or you die. And that Zaiwu shot didn't do too much to affect the outcome of the round right there. That was Kerrigan's one kill inside of Bridge. But the B defenders die by their own merit, right? We have Spinks, Spinks Joe made a mistake. To be main, it's not smoke. Zaiwu's deep in CT spawn, not quite sure where he needs to be positioned. See, if they threatened, uh, if they threatened a B split with mid, then I could see Kerrigan, you know, doing something a little crazier it makes sense, but that he's just material lost. Flashes are good. They do come out from cave. Damage heard. It's actually Zywoo to pick it up on the cross. Eight seconds to the clock. This one's awkward. This one's done. Toasted. Roasted. Boiled. Stewed. Hmm. Poor phase played on the clock and that's the first round where they just looked uncomfortable. They've got another couple volleys here. Apex could lay that down at the 45 second mark. Will they run through or do they hold? They extinguish it. Dupree catches Twist, good trade from Kerrigan. Three bodies here for FaZe, it's all in. And they see that barrel. So Rain clears the corner, Zywoo's relegated behind Smoke. There's no comfortable push, but it doesn't need to be comfortable. Rain, it's right there on that Smoke. So close to it, I think he has a gap. Oh, but no, no scope. Now the ramp spots, Brokey, second one's right there with him. Battle of the Ops, Magisk and Brokey, and a missed shot gives timing for Brokey to take the angle around the pillar he plays. He dances like ballet, and even though he dies, Magisk gets on bomb. It comes down to the wire, but this one's all vitality. Oh, he did have to get that shot in. I think Brokey thought, and they're making some sound on the uh -oh. jump up. Yeah, Rain's gonna find timing, but they push! There it is. You alluded to it. Doesn't come in with the double kill. Rain could definitely still claw back control of sight. He's worried about Apex's spot and should be. But he gives up that bit of worry. And then they give up some control. Twists answers with one, but we are tied. Seven each. Tech Nine blasts away. Sphinx stands, but. Little mistake there trying to whip out the incendiary. Missed shot out of Zywoo, which means the next two land. And he does hit Rops, then swaps to the Tech Nine, where Apex will close this. It is a five in a row ending to the CT half for Vitality to take a lead before their offense. And Apex taking speed. Brokey's in the corner. Uberetta's ready. Kerrigan helps out to the right side. Now that he's down, Brokey moves forward, looking for four. It's Rops to nab one at the end, but still a three-piece out of Brokey yeah. on the Berettas. Also, if you haven't noticed the giant poll on the side of your screen, you guys can head to Blast TV and vote on the show match map. Best show matches in the biz. Twists, done. We got a little collateral there. Magisk has his brain splattered all over Zywu. That'll give him PTSD. And now he'll be timid in the following rounds. To have those sucked away from you really sucks. Uh-oh. Nice flash. Yeah, Rops helps out, Brokey. Ready for another one. Zywoo. The Deagle just doesn't stop today. Yeah, he waits for no man. Rops goes out. Oof, good mow down for the two, but Deagle's still up and pumping out damage. You got Sphinx and Zywoo with Desert Eagles. You know, Vitality have a chance in a round like this. It's with them. Sphinx gets lost in smoke, though. CT's not shying away from the gunfight. Sphinx picks up another. 
can't manage up into heaven. So FaZe survived with two. They tried to burn out that position multiple times, but they peek into Brokey first. Robs turns it. Magis gets shut out. And these initial positions work perfectly for the 5v3. Brokey misses the mid shot. Now he's pressured, gets dinked, still holds off with at least one more. Apex waiting for the mid rotate, and sure enough, it's there. But the Heaven player pushes bomb, or at least tests smoke. Apex has gone down, and Sphinx isn't going to get a chance. He'll come up with the kill, but that's it. Twist staying alive in Heaven. Smoke to stop the cross. That should nullify Brokey. Kerrigan's still on site to help. Molly does burn Rain out of his initial spot, and Kerrigan hoping that somebody peeks him. Oh, the collateral with the Fomus, nearly even three. Dupree's barely alive. Sphinx responds, picks up Bomb, twists, kills another, and that flank was coming, but not even needed, because Brokey stuffs some close. This is an adaptation from Vitality that could certainly pay off. I already see how. Double players down in dark. They won't find Kerrigan without him getting one. And the more he sets Rain up, the better this could go. But the bomb plant tucked in safely. Oh. Apex just straight up wins the duel and twists immediately out from Temple. He's got a player close left. Saiwu takes the next fight, wins it. And man advantage falls into the hands of Vitality with a post plant there with it too. Rops, great game thus far. Smoke on his back and Brokey right behind it. Goes to clear platform, but Sphinx's headshot sends Brokey running. And therefore, Vitality break back through. Okay, so now we can see saying, hey, a cup, apart from Kerrigan getting this bombless spray down on our site last time, we had a good split going, so... Ooh. Oh, Brokey's moving to his favorite angle. Twist takes some damage above. They're looking for the entry. Dupree in the smoke. We got four kills over on the actual bomb site. Reigns 5-7. Scout out of ROPS. Not like this, Vitality. Not quite sure how we got here, but it leaves Apex 1v2. Good smoke placement definitely guarantees the plant. It's just the scout on Rob still. If Apex can get back, but he's got to be ready, and he is. And then he doesn't hide. He takes it to him, and he takes it from them. Apex pushed to clutch, delivers. Twist pulls back a bit. Rain's been cleared through smoke. Zywoo gets the answer and a second. I guess Rob's tried to challenge out the side of that. Twists. Just buying time. Would have heard the drop down to the water. Brokey's trying to lean out for the gun. And Kerrigan in the corner definitely has the element of surprise. Quick peek back by Spinks. Slight edge. And it's all about Zywoo. Three frags on those. I don't know where exactly that was. Two pushing Dark out of... push. Yeah, two pushing out of Khan in the beginning of the round. And the first one, dead through the smoke. Rops thinks he has a chance to get out. Brokey's trying, tying his shoes. And that's the round over double back to go around through storage and all that time the flank is getting closer but it's Kerrigan to die first two successful holds first by Sphinx now Magisk Zywu has nowhere else to look because he has more teammates but even then he shuffles attention and it's a duel between the offers queued up missed shot and down beneath this retake is a player on the bomb site Sphinx buys time He's gonna get cleared. Oh, Brokey! Quick scope, so critical. Nothing more. Nothing more for FaZe, that is. Vitality, 14. Wow, amazing rounds out of Vitality to pull that up. And again, there's no kit. There's a smoke towards mid, but Kerrigan with an uptick. A little more likelihood. He gets stopped after the one. It's rain to offer up the next. Teammates falling by his wayside, Brokey. There's nothing more. Vitality do indeed take it. 15 and two left. I thought we were going to finally see a round with multiple players alive, but no, it's never that simple. Not in this game. That's a somewhat dubious position now, and but the positional compensation out of Apex walking into mid gets nice. cut off at the pass by Twist. Very nice. Twist just ready for it. Kerrigan, same deal over towards B. Bombs back in spawn, though. This is going to get weird. All the regs were in that basket that Apex was holding. Fixation on A out of the gate. Well, now they're just going for the timing into the B hit, but there is indeed a third CT in position, albeit blind initially. Dupree falls with nothing. Rain, a double kill, but his gun goes dry. And we've got another player here on flat. It's Brokey with the A1S. Stops himself. Two! And as the hot swaps over, it's Apex to oh. the clutch, but Brokey with the instant headshot. Oh. 15 all 
We go OT. Yeah. Brokey, take a bow. Dupree, time to turn it all around. Twist is here, though, right with Brokey. And the op reaggresses. Brokey takes it back around the corner, comes through with the difference maker. But check out Dupree. Whoa, he's on an adventure. Oh! And a missed shot. <gasps> Two magic shots. Gone. He's got the full belt of util, two kills to his name, a kit to work with, and some of the sickest clutches on the biggest stages of phase in the last couple weeks. So why not now? Dupree on the angle. All they need, though. Locks it in comfortably from dark. And honestly, great patience there from Vitality. They knew that his one play was to chase and drop to water. Battle of the Opera's queued up. I don't know if he goes farther than this, honestly. <gasps> Broke oh. baits out. Oh, but blind. Spinks picks it up. Broke is pinned, and he gets the second. Oh, that is great rifle work out of Spinks. Oh, and he just doesn't move because he can't demol. He's there. Off shot in from Magus. This is the angle that he played that AUG on. Now he draws them in, and Apex cuts off Kerrigan. They thought they could pounce. And it's going to need to be something magnificent from Van Dalken. He's got the bomb, and he's got half of Vitality on this site. And he's got no reason to run. Smoke announces his arrival, but Magisk will not miss it. And just like that, it is Vitality to stop it right away. Yeah, maybe he could quit his day job. Smoke will buy more time. We talked about that aggression out long. They could throw it out again. But Twist and Kerrigan are both in safe spots to dodge this aggression. And then that could just leave the CTs exposed. Sure enough, it's a double out of Twists. Apex now beckoning Zywu to come over. Utility over the top. Flash in the face of the IGL. But he'll lay down another smoke. Oh, 40 seconds. Ooh, interesting. And he waits, and he waits, and as they round that corner, they go down quick. Magisk in the pillar, hides, and he may not even be needed. Because Zywu strikes fear in the hearts of FaZe, but Twist rips heads off. And that bomb plant could be his. He comes up for the frag, and through smoke, Zywu ends this. Apex leads Vitality to a map one win. And FaZe's matches always deliver but it's not lost for Vitality by no means. Sphinx alongside Zywu. Oh. Looked very good on the first map, and I thought that was a two-headed beast, but it's just three players down beneath power. Yeah, that's gonna catch you off. What is this setup? What is this? <laughs> just open the cellar door and they all come flying out. But Audible on the fallback. Hey, this is this is the hole that they don't know about down, this. but they don't know how far Zywu got. Yeah, poor Brokey. Definitely caught off by that one. Kerrigan thinking that, you know, he didn't actually give them any info. Oh, my God. He's this gonna, whole time he was spotted. Okay, they're transitioning this. Kerrigan knows they're going to come back. Magisk needs to use Sight to block off oh. the ticket play. Turns up towards Palace. But it's Kerrigan to come through with the second frag. He still has time to pick up Bomb, but unfortunately the cross is held. And that's where Sphinx is going to kill him. So I think Kerrigan just did a great job of trying to make something. Rain, though, keeping it dynamic. Scout headshot to Magisk. This is Zywu stuck for now, but Rops is Tech 9 at this range. Yeah, just like that, headshot. And Sphinx, he's revealed himself. Now Dupree is right here with him. And they've got these players wounded, but FaZe are gonna run that Deagle back up towards top mid. They've got him on a silver platter. Sphinx is dead. Dupree is stuck between it all. And FaZe have just clawed back what? a 3v5 with lesser weapons. And at every single moment, they could have easily brought that back and killed the two players who were low beneath them. Apex not necessarily looking for the kill, but just the info on the jiggle. But times it well enough. Dupree goes down. This leaves Zywu on his own towards B. The cat split gets cut off. It's all out of apartments here. And Zywu hears them coming down upon him. He strikes down twists. Rain's able to answer, but Brokey back by bench, cleared out by Sphinx. Rain in the post plant. Drops the pistol, comes out, kills Spinks, and with half health, it's him versus Magisk. He doesn't know where or when or how he could lose this. But as he creeps back over the timings to a T, Magisk makes the difference. Had to be a first bullet headshot. And Faye is already starting to just creep all around this A site. Now remember, Bomb is still down outside ramp, so Kerrigan will have to peel away and go grab it. If things get weird, they could get even more awkward because of that. Apex. By chance, catches Rain and Connector. We've got Rops versus Magisk, Brokey versus Sphinx, and so far, so good here for Vitality. 
Hearts. That's the one gun they can kind of afford to lose if that. I don't even know if they really wanted to do that, knowing FaZe were saving for sure, but... All right, Vitality win the rounds. This has been Dupree, but now it's the Wu. And they, they also can attack right at this very moment, and Rops is looking for a Lurk, and Kerrigan dodged an upper B. I don't like this. Rops gonna try to Lurk out. He gets stuffed by Dupree, so both players' positions swapped and still successful. And Twist has been waiting patiently this whole time to try and get something rolling. He will catch Apex in the window, but he doesn't even have the bomb. He could just go for the kills. He knows they're back on site, but Vitality 7 added to the board. Breaks through with an opener. Oh, Zywoo peaks, drops rain in the back. Twist is still alive and kicking, as is Rops. Sphinx is gonna have to be cautious on the approach. They know these AKs are here to play. Little to lose, but Sphinx hyper passes back on CT spawn. Zywoo hasn't actually given up any real risk, and he tucks back as it now falls onto Rops. But Dupree has taken the long road all the way around, and look at the reward. Hands busy on Rops, which means AK's down now. Deagle nothing, and Vitality put up that five-round lead. Yeah, they're playing. I think FaZe are recognizing it. They've been taking a lot of mid-space. Make the most of it. Oh, oh that no, it sucks. Flash. Oh, no, Rain. That was in. Just left Kerrigan to dry, and oh, man. Sphinx right there with the next one. And so Sphinx definitely peaks off that Flash, not blinding him. No doubt. The fact he finds his opponent Flash is just icing on the cake. And the MP9 shreds two as Robs gets smoked out from Palace from such a successful hit into that B site last round. Oh, well, this one's free for Vitality. Moving into round 15. Could not have been easier. Yeah. And he looks for another highlight round to end this. Peek out of the catwalk. Goes the way of Kerrigan. Big duel to win if you're Kerrigan. Trying to recover this event on an individual level. But every kill that happens at the A site gives you the confidence this is clear. When in reality, the king is in his palace. And if the ticket player sets up a distraction, Zywu's coming out with the Deeg. Twist is going to plant the bomb. Can't be stopped. Eagle finds its first. Nothing more. Zywu, unfortunately, has no teammates' success to tether off of. And so Dupree to close out the half in a 1v4 attempt. FaZe able to squeeze yet another out of this half, which means six on the T side of their map pick. They'll have a good defense in store for us. Maybe they just weren't oh, put in the right wow. positions, but one man who's been above the rest of Sphinx, Rain gets stuffed, and Sphinx has now put up a triple kill. Just like that, Vitality about to take the double digits, and a T side start could be huge. Twist, come on. Two kills back. Eats the flash. Kerrigan starts to press out from Ticket. He's going to catch them in the open. Space on the brink of an ace in this pistol is killed by Twist, who would have to put up one of his own. Two players with almost every kill in this pistol, but Dupree gives Vitality that 10th. Damn. Can't ask of much with an MP9 and a Famas. They've foregone all the mid control until Rob goes for a peek. Just the one, Apex, snaps it back for the double. Brokey's Deagle off the window, dead. And we've got a cat player that looked to get closer, but Twists gets a glimpse of nothing. That 10 health left on Zywoo is just enough to move Bomb back to Joint Sphinx by the looks of things and hit that B site. Oh, no. Or no, they're actually going to pull back. They have the option to go here, but... <laughs> Both leave. I think, you know, Kerrigan makes the smart move of saying... And then JT. And then JT. And Snappy. And where were Snappy fit into that? Snappy actually? would, he actually I would probably say above, if I had to just off the top of my head, I would say Apex. he's higher rated than Apex at the moment. Yeah. Snappy has been having a good individual form. And he got that win on Dallas um, too. If anything, they're kind of like, let's just say equal. Mm -hmm. uh, but the struggle has been pretty real for Kerrigan and, and, and Hooksy, unfortunately. Mm -hmm. And I was going to say the struggle for Dexter has actually been even worse. Mm -hmm. Without Zywoo, they lean on Sphinx, Dupree, and Magisk. And out through window goes Sphinx. He's lost Dupree and Twist catching him off the catwalk. Flawless hold. Perfect hold coming out of phase. Yeah, that was Kerrigan there. Thought they were going to come B. Was chilling in the site for a second. They have Cat to cover. That allows Brokey to go forward with this Kodak moments from one angle to the next. Each window. And then the final shot in is super easy for him. Knowing they can't jump out. $1,500 here went into making sure that Zywoo died. But with this kill came information and no trade as well. I don't think he's worried about it.
Lockley for FaZe. Twist was ready to roll, and he's actually going in for maybe another engagement, but Brokey holding top mid. Uh-oh. Yeah, he goes for the peak. Twist decides to take a risk and loses out. This might be the keys handed over to Magisk to make a move, so... But Rain's angle's nasty, and Magisk, oh, he's looking for it. Oh, he clears it properly. Oh, nicely done out of Magisk, goes for a second. It's an off in the open. Whoa. Oh, the headshot connects, oh. and there's the last out for Kerrigan. Jesus. And Magisk with nice. Dupree, just rounds a go. Drops Brokey in a heartbeat. Having gone down to the util. He's looking for revenge, and unfortunately for Brokey, he's on the receiving end. Apex ready to go up connector. Rob's looking to hold off Catwalk, but he's losing teammates. Luckily, he's got Kerrigan here to help him. Jeez. But every time these CTs peak, they just get dropped. Rain dead in an instant. And the individual level that's just coming out of Vitality on this second map is unmatched, unmatched. by FaZe. Not even close. And on Anubis, that wasn't the case. It's just... And so this season still needs to be celebrated for FaZe, but at the tail end of all this, man, they have had some of the most difficult challenges at hand. From the last chance qualifier in Paris to grueling best of threes every step of the way to get into the playoffs when so many others still faltered, to have to meet Heroic in that quarterfinal. Getting bested by Entz and now beaten by Vitality, but not yet. Rain. Not yet. Rain said, not my last round. <laughs> Rain whips out the auto shot. He gets three kills somehow, some way. Let that be a reminder. Sometimes you just got to have fun. Yeah. Some more regular buy here out from them. Props with the movement, but oh my god. Wow. Nice. Wow, how do you do all that? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> Twist uh -oh. wants to come at him. He still dies. They lose Rops on Cat. Twist reclaims a single kill, but Dupree is further back. And Sphinx just clipped rain, oh, so now man. just two frags away. That one round, the one-off, that has led FaZe to a failure here in Washington. But this is a tale of vitality going from Paris as major champions to time off, which we've seen deflate teams in the past, to now looking to lock in that semifinal. And if you want to talk about Vitality's run in Paris being, you know, unimpressive, lacking opponents, well, versus FaZe and potentially versus G2, they will change that story. Utility picked up, but Bomb planted on B. It's going to be a desperate retake attempt, but you've got nowhere else to go. Two frags separating FaZe from the player break. And Kerrigan's met by an additional Molotov. Insult to injury as Zaiwu posts up in sight. It's wow. both coming in from Cat. Initial damage looking good. Brokey's dead. Kerrigan right thereafter. Vitality close it as it always seemed they would. Anubis back and forth and action-packed. Mirage belongs to the French and Danish fusion.